This video is going to show you how to make an installer for your custom theme using WinRAR. There's three basic things that you're going to need to create the installer. The first one, of course, is going to be the theme and theme folder for your custom visual style, an icon in the standard Windows ICO format, and a bitmap image that's roughly 102 by 315 pixels. Now, the first thing you want to do is select both the theme file and the theme folder right click on it and from the context menu select add to archive here you're going to want to edit in the name of your custom theme after you do that simply select create sfx archive now go to the advanced tab and here you'll see an SFX options button. Select it and another menu will come up labeled advanced SFX options. Here we have a few areas that need to be filled out. I have a pre-edited text file with a lot of the basic information that I use when creating these. The first part that we want to fill out is going to be the path that the files extract to this is going to be of course in the themes folder so I have the address to it already in my text file and I copy paste that into the area the next one is going to be the run after extraction here I have a custom script that will run the theme file automatically once the installation is complete I copy paste that into the run after instruction area. I will post the example of this script in the description box below the video. That way you'll be able to see it and use it as well. Once we have these two fields filled out, come back up to the text and icon area. Here there's a section for the title of SFX window that you're going to want to fill out. Here I have the title of my custom theme and my username on the internet that I simply copy paste into this slot and right below it text to display I have a small description of the theme and where to find more information about me that I copy paste here. And then right below this we have a SFX logo that we want to browse to and this is going to be our bitmap image. Simply browse to it, select it. And then we have the SFX icon that we're going to browse to and select. Now in the license tab I simply repeat what I put in for the title and text to the display area. Once you get all this filled out, there are other areas here but we're not going to be concerned about them. We have no reason to use them at this time. But once you have this completely edited in, select OK and then select OK again and now we have our new custom installer for the theme. Go ahead and test it by running it. Press accept and then press install.